Thank you for joining this quick Getting Started screencast, brought to you by Salesforce Support. In this video, you are going to set up a Send Logging Data extension for an email send. And you will make a test and review the data added to this data extension. You will need to have Send Logging enabled before starting the setup. If you do not have it enabled on your account, please contact your account representative. Let's navigate to Email Studio. Click on Email. Then Subscribers and click Data Extensions. Here, you will click Create. Select Standard Data Extension in the pop-up window. Click OK. Here, in the Creation Methods section, select Create from Template. Then select Send Log. Click OK. Here, you can update the name, external key, and description of this data extension. For this video, you will leave it as is. You can leave the checkbox, Is Sendable, unchecked. Click Next. On this page, you can add new fields if you would like to record additional information. Click Create. Now that you have created it, let's test this Send Log Data extension. Navigate to Content. You can create an email and generate a send flow for this video. An email was already created. I will now click on the arrow and select send. You will be requested to define the email property such as from options. You will leave it as default and click next. On this page, Select the audience you would like to send this email to. Click Next. Here, you can send the email immediately or at a defined time. You will select Send Immediately. You will leave the Tracking section as is. Click Next. You will need to review the details of this send. If everything is fine, then check this information is correct and this email is ready to send. Click Send. After a few minutes, navigate to Subscribers then Data Extensions. Look for the Send Logging Data Extension you created earlier. Here in the Records section, you should now see the data from the Send made a few minutes ago. This data extension will contain the Job ID, List ID, Subscriber ID. Because there were no errors and this send was a send flow, then the trigger send ID and error code will be empty. You should now be ready to configure and use send logging data extension for emails. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.